Broxdale Labour Party and let me just say you can rest assured that Broxdale Labour Party doesn't think that it is good enough to just sit and wait for Johnson to leave 10 Downing Street and the Labour Party will waltz into there. We will be campaigning day in, day out from now until the end of a Tory government in this country. And we'll be here, we're all here, aren't we? We're all here for different reasons. We might be all here for the same reason. We might be all here sick and fed up, disgraced at the elitism coming out and the culture coming out of number 10, which says it's okay for them to ride roughshod over the rules over the last two years during the pandemic, but not for us, and humiliate those who have made sacrifices for their loved ones or made sacrifices for their personal lives and be laughed at by the number 10 culture led by Boris Johnson itself. We may be here for that, but it isn't just that. We may be here because we're absolutely disgraced at the removal of the universal credit uplift. We may be disgraced because we're seeing an energy crisis around the corner and we want to see not just a cut to VAT, but we want to see a wealth tax on millionaires and billionaires to pay for this crisis. And it isn't enough to say that we will just manage this current system better. We want to see a Labour Party calling for the renationalisation of the utilities, whether that is energy, whether that is water, whether that is all the other utilities in this country. Because it isn't enough just to say we will manage the current system better. And what I'm trying to say to you today, we might be here for another reason. We might be here to say we're against the Nationality Bill. It isn't enough to say we will manage the migrant crisis better. We have to say refugees are welcome here and we have to say they are not the cause of the crisis in this country. It is the millionaires and the billionaires and the 1% who are doing that. And it may be, you, you may be here because of the police and crime bill. And it isn't enough to say we accept these extra powers being passed to the legislative and to the police. We have to say we're standing up for ordinary people and their right to protest because that is the backbone of a good and true democracy in this country. So thank you very much for coming. Solidarity from Broxtow Labour Party. And let's get these Tories out at the next election. Thank you. Thank you very much, Greg Marshall, for out outlining concrete demands that should be taken up by the National Trade Union and Labour Movement. Next.